Okay, we're in uh, section 11.9 here, and I'm going to do some more of this. Uh, suppose that we want to, um, uh, or is, suppose that we have the function f of x equals negative 2x divided by 1 plus x squared squared. And we want to find a power series representation for this guy. Well, um, so earlier, this was the second example in the 11.9 uh, notes. Uh, we found a power series expansion for 1 divided by 1 plus x squared, and here it is, okay? So I'm using that series uh, to, and I'm going to find a, uh, let me let me go ahead and differentiate. So um, when I take the derivative of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared, um, I get the bottom times the derivative of the top is 0 minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, that's negative 2x, all over the denominator squared, okay? And uh, here's the expanded form of uh, when of, of the original series that I've got. And I'm going to go ahead and differentiate each one of these terms. So the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of uh, negative 2x, uh, negative x squared is uh, negative 2x. The derivative of... Uh, x to the fourth is 4x cubed, and then minus 6x to the fifth, plus etc. right? And um, so uh, now from that, when I write this as a power series, let's see, I'm starting at 1 um, to have it go term by term here. And uh, all I'm doing is I'm differentiating the, the original series here that we had 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. And uh, so I'm going to... Um, uh, bring down the power of x, so I got negative 1 to the n times 2 to the n, uh, times 2n times uh, x to the power 2n minus 1. Okay, and uh, now I'm starting this series at 1, so, uh, and, and that usually happens when you, when you uh, differentiate a series is that you have to bump up to the next uh, number. Uh, and for the uh, for your start point there. So just to make make sure it, you get term by term what what you see on the, the left. If uh, n is one, we have negative two x is the first term. When n is two, we have plus uh, two times two is four times x to the third power. Okay, uh, and then minus six x to the fifth power. Okay, plus etc. Now, I have to start at 1. Okay, I can't start at 0 because the first term is not 0. It's negative 2x. And if, if n was 0, I'd, I'd be saying that no, no, the, the first term is 0, which is not. Okay. Now, the original series started at 0. So what if I want to give my answer where I'm starting at 0 instead of 1? That's, that's okay. So um, if, if I want to start at 0, I would just need to back up uh, in terms of the n values, and um, when, wherever I see n in this formula, I'm going to replace it with n plus 1. So I got uh, the summation as n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the n plus 1 times uh, x to the power 2n plus 1, be 2n plus 2, minus 1 is 2n plus 1. Okay, and I'm circling that. Okay, so this uh, this circled guy here would be the uh, the uh, power series representation for negative two x divided by one plus x squared squared. Okay, now the radius and the interval of convergence are the same radius and the interval of convergence on the original series. Okay, so again, this was uh, the second problem that we did in this section. Um, the radius is one, and the interval is negative one to one. That's be the same thing on my, um, my differentiated series, okay? Uh, let's try another one here. So suppose that we have the function, uh, which is the arctangent of x, okay? Um, I'm gonna start off by using the same uh, power series for one divided by one plus x squared. So that's this guy here, right? And here's the expanded form. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and integrate 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. 
So that is the arctangent of x, okay? And uh, let me integrate uh, term by term. So I, I, I'll put the constant first. Don't, don't forget about the constant also, okay? So I always just put it first so I don't for, forget about that. But I've got the constant plus uh, the antiderivative of 1 is x minus the antiderivative of x squared. That's uh, x cubed over 3 plus uh, x to the 5th over 5 minus x to the 7th over 7. So on each one of these, you know, I'm, I'm adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. So as a series, I'm going to ha have the constant plus uh, the summation as n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Okay, and just to make sure that I'm getting these terms here, I've got the constant, and then plus uh, when n is 0, uh, we have uh, 1 times x to the first divided by 1, there's x, okay. Uh, and then when n is 1, it's going to be minus uh, x cubed over 3. 3, that looks good. Then when n is 2, it's going to be plus uh, x to the 5th over 5, that looks good. Okay, minus x to the 7th over 7. So I'm going to get term by term, you know, what I see on the left. And uh, so now, what if I let x be 0 in this, in this equation here? Well, if x is 0, the arctangent of 0 is 0 because tangent of zero is zero. And um, if I let uh, x be zero on the right, okay, I've got the constant plus, uh, and then I'm adding up zero infinitely many times, so the grand total there would be zero. And uh, I have the constant equals zero then. Okay, so uh, this constant, I'm gonna let that be zero. And the power series representation for the arctangent of x becomes um, the summation as n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Okay, and this, the, this is going to be an important series uh, for in the next, next section. You'll, you, you'll see when we get there. Uh, the radius and the interval are going to be the same radius and the interval on the... Uh, on the original series. So originally I'm using uh, 1 divided by 1 plus x squared and uh, so the radius is 1, the integral the interval is uh, negative 1 to 1. Okay, it'll be the same thing on the integrated series there. Alright, um, so next thing um, Let's see, now one reason why power series are so useful to us is they enable us to integrate functions that would be incredibly difficult through the straightforward approach. Okay, so I've got some examples here and we're gonna integrate uh, these functions. Um, let's take a look at part A. And uh, suppose I integrate this as a power series. I got the integral for 1 divided by 1 plus x to the fifth dx. Okay, well, uh, 1 plus x to the fifth, that's the same as 1 minus negative x to the fifth. And so I've got a, a geometric series. A is 1, r is uh, negative x to the fifth. I'm in the form a divided by 1 minus r. So using the, uh, the series uh, notation, I've got the summation uh, and, or, excuse me, I got the integral for the summation as n equals 0 to infinity of a times r to the n. Okay, a is 1. r is negative x to the fifth to the n. And then uh, don't forget the dx is also. Um, so now we'll need to simplify this sequence, okay? Okay. Um, well, when I bring in the, uh, the power of n, I got uh, negative 1 to the n times uh, x to the 5n dx inside. Okay, so then uh, now we're ready to integrate this, uh, this series. Okay, and I've got the constant. There's, a, there's an indefinite integral, so I, I must have the, the plus c's. 
Uh, so I got the, the constant plus uh, the summation. And by the way, you know, with, with, with the plus c's, so we, we'll usually see the plus c written before the sum just so that it doesn't look like it's inside the sum where you're adding a constant, you know, infinitely many times to each term. That's not happening, okay? So just to avoid doing that, we, we usually write the constant in front of the sum there on an integrated series. Um, but, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm integrating each term. Well, all, all I'm doing is I'm adding one to the power of x and dividing by the new power. Okay, so I got the summation as n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 5n plus 1 divided by 5n plus 1. The end. Circle that. That's the answer. Okay? So that's really, really easy. Right? I had a, you know, about a line of work. Okay? Um, so, and and I, again, that's why power series representations are, are very useful to us because they allow us to integrate a function which would ordinarily be very, very difficult. Okay? In, in, like in this problem. Observe the straightforward approach. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, here's uh, the same integral. I'm integrating uh, x to the one over x to the fifth plus one. As a power series, let's see. We, we've already done that, right? And that's uh, here's our answer, right? We got about a line of work, no problem at all. Okay, what if we were using the previous techniques that we saw back in chapter seven? Okay, so the first thing is that we need to factor x to the fifth plus one. That would not be lots of fun because that's, that's going to take a while, okay? Um, and uh, negative one is a zero of f, and uh, so x plus one would be a factor of f. Now, the fact, to factor this further, I'd take, the, um, I'd take x to the fifth plus one divided by x plus one as a factor, and that gives me x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus one. Okay, to, uh, to divide that, um, we, uh, we, I, I'm using synthetic division, that's the quickest option, okay, to getting this. Uh, so then the next thing would be to factor x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus one. Okay, and I've got that separated into, into two quadratic factors here, okay? The next thing is I'll need to find A, B, C, and D, okay? And uh, let's see, I've got that simplified <laughs> in the form, uh, you know, where I've got x to the fourth plus uh, A plus C times x cubed plus A times C plus B plus D times x squared plus uh, A times D plus uh, B times C times x plus B times D, right? <laughs> okay. And so now I'm setting each, each of these uh, numbers equal to the terms on the, uh, the left side, okay? And um, I end up getting this system of equations, which I'd need to solve, okay? And so I did that. Uh, it looks like um, uh, A is um, negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. C is negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. B is 1, and D is one also would be the solution to that system, okay? So then, here's what we have so far. X to the fifth plus one is, uh, is in this factored form here, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna use is partial fractions, okay? Uh, I've got a linear factor and two quadratic factors. So I got the partial fraction decomposition set up here and um, uh, we got to find A, B, C, D, and E. So I uh, multiply both sides of this equation by x to the fifth plus one, and I, I got this uh, simplified down. Doesn't this look like tons of fun? Like, like there's little, little, little to no area for mistakes, right? <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, so we, we end up getting um, this system of equations here, okay? And uh, the next thing is to solve this system, okay? So the fastest way to solve that system, here's the system again, is to use the, met, uh, the method of matrices. So uh, let's see, I got this matrix set up, and um, 
I um, am simplifying this. I got to get this into row echelon form. So I'm looking for ones down the diagonal and zeros in the lower triangular part. Okay, so I'm doing that process there. And uh, here's, here's where I got that. Okay, here's zeros in the lower triangular part and ones down the diagonal. Okay, so then if I convert this back to a system, here's what I got, these equations. And uh, I'm getting A equals 1 fifth, B equals uh, negative 1 plus root 5 over 10, C equals 2 fifths, D equals negative 1 minus root 5 over 10, and E equals 2 fifths. Okay, so here's what this integral becomes, these three integrals. Okay, now we can finally start integrating. <laughs> This is the, the this is the again this is the straightforward approach okay <laughs> um, so we can finally start integrating this function. Well, the first integral is is very easy. That's me one fifth times the ln of uh, x plus one. Um, the other two integrals are not going to be very easy at all, okay? And um, so uh, let's see, the first integral that I'm I got right here. Uh, let's see, I got I split that into two integrals, and um, uh, let's see, I'm adding, um, I get a little, little creative with the constants there, and uh, I'm setting myself up for a u substitution, okay, just on this first integral, <laughs> okay? So we end up getting um, this integral uh, plus uh, this, this other integral. Okay, and uh, when I find the value of that integral, that's uh, root 5 over 20 times uh, the ln of the absolute value of u, here's u, okay, and then plus, uh, and here's this other integral that I got to do, okay. So, um, let's see, well, um, I got, uh, here's the other integral, okay, now I'm, I'm, I factored this, and um, Let's see, I'm uh, setting myself up to, to integrate this. I've, I've got a tangent inverse thing here that I'm doing. Uh, I also need a u substitution. Doesn't this sound like lots of fun also? <laughs> Again, okay. And, and here is the, uh, the, the answer for, um, for the integral. Okay, that's, that's just the, the one integral. Okay, then I have the second integral that I have to do, which I'm doing the, pretty much the same thing there. Uh, to get the uh, the value of the second integral, okay, which is right here. Okay, so then when I integrate this function, 1 divided by x to the fifth plus 1, I end up getting this guy here. Now this is just a you know, one, one, one little number, you know, not, not so bad, right? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, there, there's, there's so much room for, for mistake, a little mistake, and there goes all the problem, right? But 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 here's here's the answer, and this does not look like a like 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 this looks like a nasty looking answer, <laughs> okay, and so that's the the straightforward approach, okay. So the point of the the point of this is to say that you know when when we when we have functions that can be represented as power series, like it sometimes makes the problem way easier than it could have. But than using what we've already learned, okay, using these previous techniques. Okay, so, you know, I, like, like I said, I, I could integrate this in one line of work, or I could integrate this in, you know, three, three pages of work, okay? So that's, that's um, uh, kind of the story with that there, okay? Uh, we'll go ahead and stop the video in, uh, in this one, and, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll finish... Um, Section 11.9 uh, in the, the next video there.